okay yes in the yesterday class they asked the question in from the previous question paper uh they go i am sharing the screen my screen is visible to all of you okay okay fine so here this is a question in this question what it is asking give epsilon this is epsilon okay epsilon nfa to eps except 0 power n 1 power n 2 power n and that should n should be greater than 0 and we need to find the e closure of all states so the question is how to prepare the state diagram and how to find the transition for this and how to find the e closure okay these are the things in it ask in the exam okay one minute okay so here so what we need to do first how we can read this 0 power n 1 power n and 2 power n and that should be n greater than or equal to 0 so how can we read this this we can read any number of zeros any number of zeros followed by any number of ones followed by any number of ones any num any number of ones okay followed by any number of twos followed by any number of twos so for this kind of problem we cannot solve in the regular expression this is not a regular expression so it is not telling to uh, do any operation just it want the e closure of states and with the epsilon so just we can make the state diagram for this okay uh let me just give me a second okay no one is joining okay fine so here first of all here we will make a state diagram what is a state diagram now like i will take this color first initial state that is start and i am taking one q 0 okay i am taking q0 first one and i am telling it is telling any number of zeros what it is telling any number of zeros that means whenever we will get any number of zeros that should be loop okay and next it is telling about the epsilon so here the next state will go with the help of epsilon and here q1 bracket and what it is telling any number of ones any number of ones that is 
epsilon is like a null means it there should not be a zero or one without zero and one it will go from q0 to q1 with the help of epsilon because of that this is a epsilon nfa in normal nfa we will not have epsilon when we have epsilon so that question the chain that will be changed to epsilon nfa okay to move from q0 to Q q1 we are using the epsilon that is we can say null only but with the help of epsilon we will solve the problem okay next from q1 to q2 q1 to q2 how it is going with the help of epsilon because we need to uh, this condition should be satisfied and with the help of this condition we need to make a state diagram so what is this q2 q2 is any number of twos any number of twos okay and here one two three like this here we are completing our state diagram so this is our final state whenever you are drawing the state diagram or transition diagram the name of this is transition diagram or state diagram state or transition diagram okay and this video i am going to upload on the youtube also okay so here we draw the state diagram for the given condition okay for the given condition we draw the state diagram now here we need to know how many are there with the epsilon transition means from q2 uh, q2 q0 to q1 is going with epsilon q1 to q2 is going to uh, with the help of epsilon so this is epsilon closure okay e closure is nothing but epsilon closure of all state for all the state we need to find the epsilon closure so here okay so now here we need to go with the main thing m is equals to here <coughs> what is the nfa syntax <coughs> sorry what is the syntax means how many q states are there here one two three so what is a here is q and sigma delta q0 and f so this is we need to find in the nfa in the nfa we need to find q0 sigma delta q0 f from the state diagram okay can anyone tell me what is q here in this state diagram can anyone hello okay no problem in the q is q0 someone is misses something zero one two no q is q0 q1 q2 how many states are there okay second one sigma what is sigma sigma is input symbol what are the input symbol 0 1 2 input symbol we have 0 1 2 okay now what is q i will tell you about this what is q0 Q0 is initial state. 
what is initial state we have q0 next one is f f is a final state so which one is a final state q2 okay now we need to solve this one if i go down here now first of all i need to find the e closure of means epsilon closure closure of q0 what is this epsilon closure that means sorry that is in the state diagram in the state diagram from the q0 from the q0 how many state is reaching from the q0 from q0 to q1 and as well as we can say q0 to q2 also so the answer is whenever we have the epsilon nfa so you can say like this will also a epsilon by itself also but we need no need to represent this okay but by default it will be loop okay the next one is e closure of q0 is first one is q0 itself the next it's going to q1 with the help of epsilon and q q2 so here q0 q1 q2 this three states are there it's going from q0 with the help of epsilon okay now what is the e closure of what is the e epsilon closure of q1 what does it mean e closure of q1 means from the q1 with the help of epsilon where it is going so by default by itself okay so there that will be the q1 by itself the next one is is going from q1 to q2 with the help of epsilon that is q2 okay the next one is last one e closure epsilon closure of q2 it does not have any thing so this is a final state so by default by itself we can consider only okay by itself with the help of epsilon it's go by itself q2 so the first one is q0 q1 q2 that is e epsilon closure of q0 epsilon closure of q1 epsilon closure of q2 we got it okay now we need to find transition function is to calculate we need to do the transition function transaction function is calculated kaisa how to do that i will show you okay till now are everyone is clear sorry so here with this problem okay 0 power n 1 power n 2 power n without using the turing machine we are using the epsilon nfa we make a state diagram and in the state diagram what are the things tuples how many tuples are there five tuples okay this is called tuples five tuples are there q capital q sigma delta q0 f from this state diagram we define what are the things are here now we need to calculate the transition transaction so how this is first one delta dash q0 comma epsilon first of all we need to check q0 of epsilon where it is going so what is the answer the same answer we will get epsilon closure 
of q0 whatever the answer of the epsilon closure q0 the same answer for the q0 comma epsilon okay what is the answer answer is this q0 q1 q2 okay next delta q0 comma 1 sorry first we need to do the zero zero so what is this epsilon closure c l o s u r e closure what is the answer for this we need to find we need to find delta q not because we i have already i have this value q not comma epsilon comma zero in place of this q zero okay delta q zero comma zero so in place of q zero q zero comma epsilon this value i want to add here okay so here next step is epsilon closure we need to substitute okay epsilon closure delta what is this q0 comma epsilon here because what we are telling here q0 comma epsilon is the answer of e closure of q0 what is the answer of e closure of q0 e closure of q0 the answer is q0 q1 q2 okay so here the answer is q0 q1 q2 okay comma this zero as it is okay next what is this epsilon closure of q0 what is epsilon closure q0 the same answer we will get q0 q1 q2 okay so what is the answer q0 q1 q2 means when we have q0 comma 0 at that time it will reach to q0 q1 q2 okay so this is first thing we find the delta dash sorry lambda dash q0 comma 0 in the same way we need to solve delta means uh, yes lambda q0 comma 1 q0 comma 1 because we have 0 1 2 2 okay 0 1 2 so first q0 comma 0 the next is q0 comma 1 so here e closure the same thing we need to write e closure what is the e closure same thing whatever we have previous one delta q0 epsilon but here the comma 1 here the comma is 1 okay next next one is what will be the answer for this e closure means epsilon closure delta what is the q0 comma epsilon value at the top e closure of this one q0 comma very good so here 
we need to come back here here we need to write q0 q1 q2 and this should be in the flower bracket okay next what is the remaining here is 1 now what is the q0 means here we completed the q0 now here we need to do the epsilon closure q1 so what is the q1 epsilon closure of q1 at the top is epsilon closure q1 is q1 comma q2 q1 comma q2 what is the answer q1 comma q2 okay in the same way we need to solve delta sorry i am telling delta it is a lambda sorry delta q0 comma 2 okay like this if we solve i am not solving now the same procedure you need to follow here you will get the answer q2 okay directly i am writing the answer the same procedure what we followed to q0 comma 0 q0 comma 1 q0 comma 2 okay next next one is same thing we need to do but we need to do for till now we completed to q0 now delta q1 comma 0 first q1 comma 0 so what the answer will get for this we need to follow the same procedure if you follow okay one i will show then i will do that so here what will be the answer for q1 comma 0 is if we go with the app epsilon closure epsilon closure delta delta dash q1 comma epsilon 0 we need to know about the value of the q1 comma epsilon here so here e closure closure this delta and what is this q1 comma epsilon what is q1 comma uh, epsilon very good q1 q2 here so like this q0 comma epsilon is telling e closure of q0 in the same way we need to do q1 comma epsilon is q1 comma q2 q1 comma q2 q1 comma q2 comma 0 okay so what is e closure of because here q1 q2 but in the zero state we don't have anything so here phi empty so the first q1 comma zero is a empty phi okay we will say empty or phi in the same way we need to solve only five minutes are remaining <coughs> delta q1 comma 1 we need to find the answer for this we will get the answer for this is q1 comma q2 q1 comma q2 in the same way this all are the dashes q1 comma 
टू द आंसर इज ओनली क्यू टू वॉट एवर द ई क्लोजर ऑफ क्यू टू द सेम आंसर विल बी रिफ्लेक्ट हियर ओके बिकॉज इट्स टोल यू टू डू ऑल द ट्रांजेक्शन सो वी आर डूइंग ऑल द ट्रांजेक्शन हियर ओके हियर डेल्टा सॉरी विल चेंज द कलर नाउ वी आर चेंजिंग डेल्टा क्यू जीरो सॉरी क्यू टू कॉमा जीरो द सेम प्रोसीजर यू नीड टू फॉलो हियर वी विल गेट द फाइव बिकॉज only q2 has the q2 the state is a e closure okay so q2 comma 1 also we will get the phi because empty and delta q2 comma 2 we will get the value q2 the same value of e closure of Q2. Here I will make a table. Then it will be finished in the three minutes. So here we need to make a table. Transition table. First we will have a state, and here we will have the input state. And how many? One, zero, one, two. And what is this? Input symbol. and here fine 1 2 and here the states okay we will say the state how many state we have three i will change the color here q0 q1 q2 okay which one is the initial state this one and let me solve then we will see the final state here we will get what is q0 on 0 what we are getting in the top if we go yes here what we are getting on the q0 on 0 what value we are getting q0 q1 q2 okay we need to check in the top and we need to fill the table so q0 q1 q2 okay this is a state from q0 to 0 and what is q0 to 1 q1 q2 uh, you need to make a flower bracket i make a table i small table q2 sorry that is q2 i will reduce the size otherwise here q1 what will be the q1 q1 on 0 is 5 what we got we got the 5 and here q1 comma q2 and what will be the last same thing q2 okay now here from q2 to 0 is 5 here q2 to 0 is 5 then q2 to 1 is also we got the answer 5 q2 to 2 is q2 so here we need to see which one is the final state here we have the final state is with the red color i will mark this one okay this one is a final state but you can see this q2 is present in all q0 q1 q2 so that means here all are the final states if in any state 